Welcome back to Shadow Moon. Now, at Frostbite is past us, we'll be touching Scale Mail. Now, for a brief history on Scale Mail, Scale Mail is a series of individual moving uh, plates that are attached either by chain link or hung from one edge in the shape of clothing. In European history, our earliest examples of Scale Mail come from the Romans. The Romans wore a scale armor known as Lorica Scamata, uh, which was a torso and shoulder armor made of a series of small rectangular plates that hung off of each other and were tied either by lace or by chain link. Uh, now another example of ancient scale mail comes from the victory columns erected by Emperor Trajan at the start of the 2nd century AD to celebrate his victory over the Dacians. On Emperor Trajan's victory columns we see a different design of scale mail worn by the Dacians. Now Dacian scale mails here seems to be a similar design to chain hauberk, given a good protection from the neck down to the elbows and the knees. Uh, the Dacian scales were a spade shape and were a uh, similar one uh, purchasable at the Ring Lord, which you can find the link in the description below. Uh, later on in medieval Europe, uh, the depictions of scale mail almost completely disappear from the tapestries and the murals. Uh, when they are available, or uh, when they are seen, they are often associated with foreign fighters, such as the Muslims and the Huns. Now, in Ampgard, the standard for scale mail is 18 gauge steel and a 10% overlap. Uh, first, a uh, heavy gauge, you're looking at a 16 gauge steel. There are currently no minimum gauge for the space between the links, but for our tests, we'll be using our leftover chainmail links. Ooh, sorry about that. And for now, for our normal gauge scale, we'll be using a 16 gauge steel links, and the heavy gauge scales will get the heavy gauge links. We would like to give a shout out to and a thank you to our friends over at City Welding in Sudbury. Because of the gauge of steel required for our tests, we weren't able to use the scales available from our usual supplier at the Ring Lord, so we reached out to our friends over at City Welding and they did our specialty cut for us using their plasma tables. Now, V8 Rulebook has several modifiers for scale mail. Fluted, each scale has been fluted for an initial strength and rigidity. Heavy gauge, each scale is at least 1.58 millimeters or 16 gauge. And rigid, each scale is attached to its neighboring uh, its neighboring uh, scale in such a fashion to create a rigid shell that is not like the individual mobile scales. Now, unfortunately, no matter how we tried, uh, when we did the rigid modifier, we wound up making or a butted plate or a low quality lamellar. And with that, off to you, Des. Thank you, Nick. What we have here is our Ring Lord scales. These are 20 gauge scales. They're fluted, and I believe they're made of steel. But well, we're gonna put them to the test. A couple of blown rings, a lot of denting. See where the sword hit. I want to point out these are aluminum rings, they're the ones that came with the package from the Ring Lord. Okay. So. Only one ring blew out on the stab. That's actually pretty useful. Standing up to the sword pretty well. So, let's try the axe. Something smells funny. It smells like campfire. Yep, sacred sm or, uh, wood smoke. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I'm not feeling this is going to go the same way the first one did, but... <clears throat> yeah. Just like the original sample of uh, scale mail we did back in December. <laughs> one axe hit just completely destroyed that scale. Let's see if I can hit that spot on. 
Oh. Hey Nick, can you get that on camera? Oh yeah, I can. Oh wow. Straight down to the gamson, through the gamson, and into the wood. You can even <laughs> see where it just bent the scale right in half. Yeah. The corbeal just destroyed it. It didn't bend it, it actually punched straight through. Yeah, you can see right where it punched in. Awesome. So, I think we've sufficiently destroyed this piece of armor. Well. And this level of uh, destruction. steel armor. This gauge, I think, is a better word for that. <laughs> this gauge of chain mail, this gain scale mail is done. So, John, if you would please. Ah. Okay, I usually ask you not to destroy my deck, but please don't fling it at my glass door. <laughs> well, considering he chopped the, the thing in, like, in a section oh there. Oh my god. He chopped um, the, uh, the arm by passing the this? chain. Let's see. Do this again. Let's try this again. I'm going to zoom right out for that one. Might be a better idea. And I'm going to... I'm not. That's the thing. Well, I guess this okay. person had a this really shitty This is the exact arm. same two by two that we've been using. I just want to point this out on camera. This is the same two by two we've been using. Well, not the same exact piece, but the same length. <laughs> I'm just putting about fifty wow. percent into it. This That's cut mark right here is uh, is from uh, last week. So, uh, not a dead. I don't think this scale mail is at all safe. I don't think it's. I, I really wouldn't be comfortable wearing this in a fight. Well, no, I'm saying John just chopped this poor guy's arm in half, like... Well, especially if the, the uh, non-riveted aluminum ring. I want to hold that up for the camera real quick. Oh, boy. So it's, we're going to try some in uh, for, actual gauges from the rule book uh, <laughs> next week. In time for Valentine's Day, though. Here's <laughs> Dennis's face through a, cha for, through a scale mail heart. Plus one holy mail. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week.